Okay. Here we go. My name is Corey Gritzbacher. I'm the Director of Restoration and Operations here at the Mequon Nature Preserve. I have been working with trees since fall of 1997. So when I was at MATC, 20 plus years. So if you do 98, it's 23 years. A certified arborist is someone who has taken a written exam uh, administered by the International Society of Arboriculture and has a three to five years of field experience uh, to uh, become a certified arborist. So there are some different cred credentials as well. It can be a combination of field experience and schooling and the written test, but ultimately you do have to take a written test. We remove any of the hazardous trees that are near any of our popular or highly traveled trails, structures. Um, so we look for the hazardous trees that may have potential to fail, uh, cause harm to any of our buildings, um, our new plantings maybe, um, or nearby our popular trails or our paths throughout the property. So we're typically looking for storm damaged trees or dead or dying trees in those areas. So the, the, the goal of this, because we want to try to protect somewhat the sugar maple, is that trunk is going to pretty much slide down the side of the sugar maple and the the canopy should land up in this opening over here. Okay. That's the goal. So it's gonna, the goal, the intention is to go over here. Now, if you want to be in the safe zone or not in the work zone, you need to be well within beyond the canopy or the fall zone of the tree. Here on the property, it's mainly dead ash. Um, and we do do some box elder, which can be considered an invasive, but mostly of them are dead ash. They were native ash trees, um, but the, most of them have died uh, to the emerald ash borer. Emerald ash borer is a species of jewel beetle that's native in Northeast Asia. It was most likely brought to the U.S. in the wood of packing crates where it is now a serious invasive species. The larva of the beetle tunnel through the water conducting tissue under the bark. This weakens and eventually kills the tree. Here you can see the extensive damage left by larva as they tunnel through tissue. Eastern ash borer target exclusively ash trees and leave signature capital D shaped holes when they emerge. Be aware that there are many native metallic green beetles in Wisconsin that are beneficial, so be sure not to misidentify them. For more info on emerald ash borer and how you can assist in slowing the spread, click on the provided link to the Wisconsin DNR website. Okay, you guys ready? Okay, here we go. Safety is number one priority, um, and the experience and the knowledge to do it safely. 
the likelihood of something failing is a much higher on a dead tree than a live tree typically. Um, so you might have to take a different approach, maybe to use different equipment um, to remove that tree safely. So safety is really a number one priority and then having the skills and the knowledge to do it safely um, that you don't harm yourself and others around you. Speaking of trails, our trails are open 365 days a year from sunup to sundown. We're regularly inspecting them to keep them safe and well-maintained for all visitors to enjoy.